What's good, YouTube? It's your boy AJ47 back again with another whew, lit video. Is that enough light? Hmm. Hmm. This is why I need me a ring light. Give me. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm here today to simply break down how. Hey, look, coronavirus, go away. We don't like you. Come on now. Yeah, but I'm here to discuss simply how the Alabama Crimson Tide and Ohio State Buckeyes have a chance to win the game. The game could go either way, honestly. Honestly. It depends on a couple of factors, and I'm here to let you know what they are. Come on. I have Ohio State's keys of winning. They are Ohio State going to have to beat Alabama the same way they beat Clemson. Kind of, sort of, not really, but... They're going to have to control the ground game and make Alabama scared of their run game, which starts up front with that big old O-line. They have a hefty O-line. Let me tell you something. Imagine putting Ohio State fuck eyes. Oh, my God. Starts up front. Preferably with the inside. Because Trey Sermon is a big back. Trey Sermon is like, what, 230? He don't look 230. He, matter of fact, he might be 220. Let's Google that real quick. Trey Sermon is... 221 pounds. He's not built like a 221 pound back. And he's six feet tall. He's actually built a little bit like a Maurice Jones Drew kind of sort of with a little bit longer legs. Like, he's pretty big back. I know good and well. I wouldn't want to tackle him. It starts with Trey Sermon in the O-line up front. When I tell you, they have to dominate. Football is a game of inches and we all know that. They have to dominate the line of scrimmage. If their O-line's getting pushed back three yards, they're not going to win this game. They have no chance of winning this game. Do I think they're going to get pushed back three yards? It depends on what defense Alabama comes out in. If they come out in a 4-2-5 front, I don't feel like they have the capabilities of just throwing around Alabama's D-line like that. Maybe on the outside they might be able to because Alabama tends to have a little bit their D-line. <sighs> It's complicated with Alabama because you never know how they're going to come out. They can come out in four men with their big boys up front, or they can come out in 4 2 5 with their small DNs. It really doesn't matter. And really, their DNs are really outside linebackers in real life, let's be honest. Defensively, Christian Barmore. Like, honestly, if they can get the double teams they need to on LeBron Ray. Christian Barmore and Fuldarian Mathis, Alabama might be in trouble. Because honestly, if they're able to touch Dylan Moses, I don't think they want Dylan Moses to be able to run laterally on the field. Nobody wants him to be able to run laterally on the field. He's genuinely, he's just too good. He's too good of a player to just be letting him chase down and hawk down your running back. He's not slow. He's going to chase him down. And he's going to bring him down. He's physical. He's been physical. Simple. He's. Already a freak of nature coming into college. What you think he's going to be? What you think he is now? Finna leave college. Simple. And I just don't see. I don't see them dominating the passing game like they have. I don't. Like they did against Clemson. Like Alabama actually has some safeties. Like their safeties actually drop back. Like they'll drop straight back. And even if they don't drop straight back. I don't think them. I don't think they have the ability to burn them over the top the way they were burning Clemson. Because, honestly, Josh Job and Patrick Sertain Jr., they're going to they're gonna give their safeties enough time to make a play on the ball. And if they don't make a play on the ball, I'm pretty positive a couple of those D linemen are going to make Justin Fields a little bit scared. Because you also got to remember, he's playing. We don't know what's, on, what's going on with his rib injury. He gets one good shot. Could change the game for good, for bad. I don't pray that he gets injured. I wish safety, hope the best. I'm not going to be able to watch the game, sadly. I'm going to be at work. This is why I'll need to subscribe to the channel. AJ does not have time for this. Um, Yeah, but that's how Ohio State wins the game offensively. Um, How does Alabama win offensively? Honestly, they have to. They just got to do whatever they got to do, to be honest with you. Because... Mac Jones is going to do what Mac Jones does. Like, he gives the ball to everybody and everybody makes him look good. I'm sorry. Mac Jones, 
if I'm sorry, I'm an Alabama fan. You can say Mac Jones is a good quarterback. He's really a good quarterback because of his wide receivers. Let's be honest. Like, I know he didn't have Jalen Waddle this year, but Devontae Smith, if you just throw it to the man, did you see what he did? He just throw he threw a pass. I, I hope I can find a clip of it, but he threw a pass that was just ill advised. He actually got hit on the pass and aired it. Devontae Smith just goes up and catches it like nothing happened. Like you have a Heisman winning wide receiver. You don't hear of this. Like <laughs> we just need Mac Jones to do what Mac Jones does. Simple. Straight like that. Um Devontae Smith, we know what he's gonna do. And let's not talk about Slade Bolden, a white boy in the Alabama receiving core. He has to be cold. Like, you know how cold you have to be to be no, not bringing race into this, but bringing race into it. You know how cold you have to be to be a white boy in the Alabama receiving room? Like, dude, dude, dude. Like, domination. That's all I got to say about that. Um, Miller Forrestal. He may actually be the X factor in this complete game. Might actually. Because if he's able to get open just a little bit out, out the game, and they have to, say, put a smaller corner on him just so he can get open and dedicate more time to him. It's going to open up that run game for Najee Harris. And I don't know if y'all have seen it. Najee Harris just knows how to get. He knows how to fall for it. And it's really annoying. Like, when they were winning the SEC championship and he scored all those, I want to say five touchdowns. Was it? Was it? Somebody correct me in the comments. It was five or four. I don't know. He scored so many, I lost count. Um... <laughs> I'm not editing that out. It's Najee Harris. He's a he's a dog. He's a dog. Let's 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 call Ace Ace Spade a Spade. Najee Harris, dog. Bow wow wow D B O U P A bow wow D B O U P A dog. If Ohio State moves Haskell Garrett over to wherever Landon Dickerson was supposed to be, um, we might be in trouble. Crimson Tide, we might be in trouble. Um, Tide fans, we might be going through it. Because Haskell Garrett, I'm not going to say he's like a super amazing D lineman, but like he, he, I like the way he plays. That's all I got to say. I like the way he plays. He's not one of the Bosa brothers or Chase Young. He's not that scary. He's scary to a point to where if you put an inferior O lineman in front of him, I know he might eat, but I just don't see him physically dominating our offensive line the way he did Clemson's O line. Also, you have to think Clemson had a very poor O-line. They were all young and all over the place, so I don't see him doing damage and causing... I don't see him just pushing our O-line back the way he did that. I see us... I think Najee Harris might be the MVP of this game if Alabama wins. So, the way Ohio... So, the key to this game for both teams are the running backs. That's all I gotta say. Alabama... Najee Harris, Brian Robinson Jr. Gonna have to ride them. Probably Najee Harris more because I don't know why. He is like, he's a workhorse. He is. He just is. Um, It is what it is. Straight like that. Um, Trey Sermon. <laughs> Trey Sermon for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Yeah, that's all I got. I might do the NFL. I ain't really watched too much NFL this year because... I go to work on Sunday, sadly. I work Sunday through Wednesday. This is why I gotta subscribe, man. I be bored. I be, I be working my tail off, dog. And I just beat the coronavirus. Help me. Help me. And I'm a college student. Come on now. Hopefully you stay to the end. Like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. If I'm not at a thousand, subscribe. If I'm at a thousand, you don't have to. Straight like that. 